upbeat, guys. If you enjoyed 2012's Snow White and the Huntsman, things are looking up because there is a sequel in the works. Actually, the sequel, or spin-off as it's called, looks to be more of a prequel instead, addressing how Chris Hemsworth's character meets the lovely, I mean insane, evil Queen Ravenna. This is all before meeting Snow White. So we're guessing Kristen Stewart won't be making an appearance. Emily Blunt gets a start as Ravenna's equally powerful sister. And we have another announcement. Jessica Chastain has been added to the cast list. We don't know which character she'll be playing, with mystery surrounding both her role and the entire project, after Frank Darabont quit due to creative differences. He wrote the most current version of the script, and The Huntsman is due for an April 22nd, 2016 release. The two-month countdown is on for the cinema release of Avengers Age of Ultron, and a wicked new poster has been unveiled featuring the usual gang and some additions you already know we're pretty excited about. Yep, it's awesome. You wouldn't realise how much this poster gives away unless you checked out the credits at the bottom. Now we knew Agent Peggy Carter was back, played by Hayley Atwell, remember her from Captain America flicks and Agent Carter. Idris Elba let it slip that his character makes an appearance. Now Joss Whedon was not happy with that at all, but as Sentry of the Bifrost, no one can really ever hold a grudge against the guy. I'm most excited about the Falcon because he returns with Anthony Mackie in the role. Rumours suggested he would appear at the end, but to have a credit on the front of the poster is kind of a big deal and may indicate something more. This guy showed up in Captain America The Winter Soldier as a badass team player with the cap. James Spader is responsible for the voice of and performance capture for Ultron. Everyone creates the thing they dread. Ultron in the flesh. The 2015 Oscars clearly had a lot of highlights, but we were pretty excited by an MTV interview with Dwayne Johnson. Last year we discovered there would be a Shazam movie with The Rock set to play antagonist Black Adam. But according to the big guy, we might see Captain Marvel rock the big screen sooner than expected. Yeah, let's hope it ain't four years away, but who knows, maybe Dwayne wasn't meant to say anything at all. It's like that final Shazam is going to happen, we're a few years away, yes. but Black Adam, it's, it's happening too. Well, you know, it may happen a little earlier than oh, yeah. what has been predicted. Okay. The script is coming in, it's great, the support from the studio has been great, and it's just a great opportunity, especially where, especially with Black Adam, where you could take a guy who starts off as a bad guy, turns into an anti-hero, we can make him vicious, a little bit of winking charm. We gave you the scoop on Jada Pinkett Smith's reaction to her husband Will Smith starring opposite the young and insanely attractive Margot Robbie. But now it's time for Jada to steal the limelight. She'll be starring in the upcoming Magic Mike XXL flick and Will finds it plain awkward. I wonder why. How does that feel that Jada is uh, in this movie with a whole bunch of naked men? No, you know it was really interesting because because you know there were a lot of the guys, there were a lot of famous Those people. Guys right yeah, there. yeah, a lot yeah. of them, you yeah. know. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so every like everywhere I go, I you know, there's someone who's been in their underwear with my wife, you uh -huh. know. It's just awkward. Yeah. It's just awkward, That's Ellen. So you know. Ellen also raises a good point. Will don't look so bad in his new flick Focus. In fact, it's probably the best he's ever looked. It's hard yeah. to, well, when you lose it, it's hard to get back to it. That's uh, why it's important to hold on to it. Hold so on, you don't yeah. have to get back to it. But you really do. You look better now than you've ever looked. Oh, don't you thank think? You. Don't you, you know, agree? I feel better. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I'm Amy Jobson, stay upbeat.